The City Line is the first line to be built on Westwood Metro. It stretches from Westwood Road all the way to the coast. Today, I'll be showing you some interesting things about the City Line. Starting here at Westwood Road, we walked round the back of the station and found that there was a mysterious shape behind the building. Well, if you can if you looked inside that mysterious room you would see the top of the elevators come up there we just covered them up so you couldn't see them now there's not much to do here at burnside road but if you go up to street level you can see the trains leaving and arriving at the station through the gaps in this brick structure here up at the top. Then we took a ride further down the line above the ground to East Hampton, where as this train departs, if we go over to the other side of the footbridge, you can see an old abandoned rusty platform. Now you're not meant to go down here, but we're allowed, so we went down. We noticed that it's very rusty and the signs have fallen over and it's very dangerous, so please don't come down here. There's not much to see here at Hampton, but there are some clues that maybe, just maybe, once there used to be a second platform. And then we went back underground for the last two stops. We're here at Coastal Parkway Station and in the corridor you'll notice a little pillar. This pillar is here because there's an electrical piece that comes down the bottom of the elevator. So to avoid people going up touching it, we put it inside a pillar to make it look nice. We're at Westwood Coast, the last stop on the city line. And you may notice not only that there is another pillar, you may notice that this station also looks a lot like its following stop which is down the line one stop of Coastal Parkway. Since Westwood Coast is the end of the city line I'm gonna get on this train and go back home. I've not finished this video just yet because I need to give a shout out to Legend Tez515 today for driving my train. You've helped me get so many cool shots of the trains arriving and departing. So thank you to Legend Tez for that.